Hello, friends, and welcome to Storytime. Today, we're going to be reading the book, Apples and Pumpkins. This book is written by Anne Rockwell, and it's illustrated by Lizzie Rockwell. Hmm, they both have the same last name. Oh, my goodness. Lizzie, the illustrator, is actually the daughter of Anne. It's a mom and daughter team that wrote and illustrated this book together. So this is the front cover, this is the back cover, and this is the spine. Apples and pumpkins. This is the title page, apples and pumpkins. And look, I see a letter A, an uppercase A, and a lowercase A right here. When red and yellow leaves are on the trees, we go to the cornstalk farm to pick apples and pumpkins. Mr. Cornstalk gives us a bushel basket to put our apples in. Look, there's the basket. Geese and chickens and a big fat turkey walk with us on our way to the orchard where the apples grow. There's a turkey. And this one is a chicken, and these are geese. My father picks apples. My mother does too. I climb into a little apple tree and pick the reddest apples of all. When our basket is full of red and shiny apples, we go to the field where the pumpkins grow. I look and look until I find the best pumpkin of them all. Oh, there's the best pumpkin right there. Or maybe a different one is, I'm not sure. My father cuts it from the vine. Wow, it's very fresh if the dad is cutting it himself. I carry it back to the car. Look, the turkey is hanging out with them too. And oh, there's the farmer. At home, we carve a jack-o'-lantern face on our big orange pumpkin. We could have, we put a candle inside and light it. Now our pumpkin looks scary and funny too. On Halloween night, we put our pumpkin on the doorstep. My mother gives away lots of our red and shiny apples for trick or treat. While I go trick or treating up and down our street. Wow, look, looks like she's a witch for Halloween and that person's some sort of goblin or alien or something. The end. So this book is called Apples and Pumpkins by Anne Rockwell and illustrated by Lizzie Rockwell. Thanks friends, and I'll see you next time.